So it's a pretty simple concept, but it's so powerful that I think once you implement it, you're going to see benefits right off the bat. So today we're going to just be talking about major pentatonic. I already did a video for three note per string that's on the main website, but uh, today we'll just talk pentatonic and in the future we'll do minor pentatonic and you'll be able to do whatever scale you want using this system. So let's go to the sixth string fifth fret A. That's going to be one of the points. And then on the fifth string, we'll go to the 12th fret A just an octave higher. Now, if you don't know all five pentatonic shapes, it's okay because I'm gonna put a chart next to my hands while I'm playing. So this might teach you a few things today if you don't already know all these shapes. So usually when you learn major pentatonic, you learn this form first, a lot of people do. What I love about major pentatonic is that it always sounds like my girl. It's kind of a way I have my students memorize the sound of it. And then maybe you learn the one after that, just next to it. And then the one next to that. And so on. But like I said, that could get a little blurry in the worst situations. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all that doubt by starting at two specific points. So let's go back to the first point we've talked about. So we have the sixth string fifth fret, which is A. We're going to go up this major pentatonic shape. And then we're going to come back to that point. So follow the chart, follow my fingers. So we have A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, and then back to A. There's that my girl sound. You could finish off the shape if you want. Dip under, and back to the root note. It's very important to start and end on that for this exercise. Okay, so starting with our pinky on the root note, you see what we just did? Major pentatonic in A. Now all you have to do to continue with this connection point idea is go to your middle finger now on that same starting point, E, and we're gonna go up this shape now. So instead of just trying to visualize two box shapes laying next to each other and so on up the neck, we're still just gonna be focusing on that starting point. It's very important to really get the most out of the system. Now we're just gonna to go to our index finger for that same starting point. We're gonna do something kind of interesting though. So watch this. Did you see how I started here and then I slid up from there? Continuing on. But did you notice how when I came back, I slid back down and ended off where we started? So all three of those shapes started, the genesis of all three of those were right here on this A note. So we just did three different box shapes for the same scale, A major pentatonic. Now keep this idea in mind, this is really important. Starting on one of the points, we're gonna either start with our index finger, our middle finger, or our pinky. And that's gonna determine what direction we go from that starting point. It's like the starting point is a seed, and then whatever finger you're starting on is gonna determine the direction that the tree grows from. So now, we covered those three. Let's move on to this starting point, the fifth string, 12th fret. We're gonna kinda of do the same idea, but the shapes are gonna be different. We're gonna start with our pinky, on the fifth string, 12th fret, we end up with this shape. Isn't that great to think of the starting point as that, instead of just thinking of the previous box shapes and trying to figure out what the next whole box form is going to be? So we just start here and we go up the corresponding shape like we just did. Now let's go to our middle finger. The shape will now be this. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking. Okay, you just did five shapes. You're probably gonna do one more that starts on the index finger way up here. But that would mean six forms, but there are only five forms of pentatonic. And this is where it's really uh, a cool thing with this system, is now that we're here with our first finger on the fifth string 12th fret starting point, when you do the slide up from here, you're just gonna end up being on the very first form that we started with today. So keep this in mind, when you start here on the second starting point, using your index finger, 
it's really just a launching point to get you back to the original form that you started with. <laughs> So isn't that great? No matter which starting point you choose, no matter which finger you start with, you're going to be playing a major pentatonic. And the only one that's a little bit special is the one we just talked about because it's really just a launching point to go into one of the forms. So what I would do is I'd play a backing track in A major, and I would just mess around a little bit with this concept. Just tell yourself, I'm not gonna think of big block shapes anymore. I'm going to be thinking of a starting point and then let it evolve from there. So if you decide to start with, say, your middle finger right here on this starting point A. Whatever you play, keep an eye on that starting point and then do yourself a favor, jump back to it and then try to explore another box shape from there. Now I wanna jump up high. Okay, I have the second starting point. So I can choose whatever finger I want. I'll just jump to my index finger. Look, I'm already back at a familiar shape. Now you might ask, okay, so do I just have to keep jumping back to the starting point every time I want to uh, you know, go to another part of the neck? Only at first, but as you do this over and over again, you get used to it, you start to look back at that starting point and you can just see the forms growing from that seed. So now when I look at either of those two starting spots, I see possibilities instead of just thinking of block shapes next to each other the whole way through. So it's really great. I could just look at that, think of my middle finger starting on that, and I can already visualize the shape of the uh, pentatonic scale. Jump way over, because I can visualize my middle finger now on this starting point. It's like having new vision with these pentatonic shapes. Now over time, this kind of happens automatically. It's really crazy. We're only thinking of the two starting points right now, but in the future, let's say you do a certain form from one of those starting points, well, you're also gonna recognize the octaves within each of the, the box shapes. So those are gonna become reference points as well. And pretty soon you're gonna be so confident because no matter where you are on the neck, you're gonna have some reference point. So just start with those two points, okay? Make sure you know your notes on the sixth string and the fifth string at least, and then be able to build those shapes from each of those starting points. Okay, so I'm real excited to hear back from anyone who has been struggling with the five pentatonic shapes and how to put them all together correctly. Uh, hopefully this two-point connection system helps you out. All right, we'll see you at the next lesson. Thank you. Bye.